All righty, so day, day five, five of reading from the Blind Woodsman. Okie dokie, let's see here. <laughs> John's going to randomly choose right a page. Okay, right there. so hopefully this is your chapter. Yes, this okay. is, okay. <laughs> All right. It seemed everywhere we went, someone knew her. He's talking about me. <laughs> so it was funny to me that now I was the one in the limelight. <laughs> it was confusing for me sometimes when we ran into people that Annie knew. She would introduce me to so many people that it was hard to keep track. I only heard voices. So I sometimes pretended I knew who I was talking to <laughs> so I wouldn't seem rude. This is why it's always a good idea to tell a blind person who you are when you approach them, even if you've met them before. Annie's health started to decline again, probably due to working a regular office job and a nanny job on top of all the art festivals we were doing. I knew it was stressful for her and I felt guilty that I couldn't do more for her. When Annie suggested one day that she wanted to quit her day job, I was apprehensive. On one hand, I wanted her to be able to focus on what she truly loved, which is her art. But I also doubted myself and my ability to sell enough of my art to make a difference. It was a struggle at first. We had to get a lot of assistance from food banks and Annie applied for some artist grants and to my surprise we were able to get a couple of them. We worked in the unfamiliar territory of trying to support ourselves as professional artists. There is a whole other level of complexity working as an artist and trying to make the most of your income from it or trying to make most of your income from it. You have to strike an emotional chord in someone so that they become willing to purchase a piece of art from someone that they meet that may be a painting costing several hundred or even thousands of dollars. Some people don't understand that artwork costs that much because each piece can take a very long time to make. It's not just that. The buyer is also paying for someone's experience, their techniques, their knowledge. Appreciating the artist's whole story is just as important as appreciating their creations. These have been, there have been comments sometimes from strangers on the internet saying things like, do you charge that much because you're blind? It's, an, it's a rude thing to say yes, but it also doesn't consider the extra patience, effort, and that's it. <laughs>